appreciate that. We uh, also, before the message here today, um, have a have a child dedication, and uh, it's always a privilege to have a, a baby dedication. And uh, let me just say just a, a couple of things here before we have the couple and their baby come up here. Um, child dedication is uh, is one of those things that we often do, and you say, well, where does that come from? Uh, oftentimes, people point back to the Bible in First Samuel. Uh, chapter 1. 1 Samuel chapter 1, we have the story of the birth of Samuel. Samuel was born to uh, Hannah and her husband uh, Elkanah, and uh, Samuel was a very special, special boy because uh, Hannah had prayed and prayed uh, that she would have uh, have a child. And um, her prayers, uh, like uh, many of you that have prayed similar prayers, were answered, and uh, Hannah wanted to make sure and give credit to the Lord uh, for uh, the baby's the baby's birth. And uh, she said, and uh, she says in First uh, Samuel chapter one, uh, down in verse uh, twenty, twenty-seven, and twenty-eight, she said, I, "As surely as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood here beside you praying to the Lord." I prayed for this child, and the Lord has granted me what I asked of him. So now I give him to the Lord. For his whole life, he will be given over to the Lord, and he worshiped the Lord there. Uh, That was uh, Hannah's prayer, and it's a prayer that's been prayed uh, many, many, many times uh, through the years by parents as they have um, dedicated their child uh, to the Lord. I'd like to have uh, Steve and Crystal Riley come up here this morning. Uh, Steve and Crystal and uh, their son, Buck, is going to be dedicated here this morning. Uh, Steve and Crystal, is uh, this is a great couple right here. I always kid them that this is a, it's, it's a Gale Riley corporate merger is what they have here. And uh, we always were looking for one of these uh, through the years. And finally... And uh, if you know our church very much, you realize there's lots of Gales, lots of Rileys. And uh, as someone who knew to our church said, and Crystal Riley is related to everybody. And uh, if you think she is, little Buck is, okay? Crystal has already said, Buck will have to leave the county in order to find a spouse, okay? Uh, Because, (laughs) hey, all of you that are related to these guys, stand up. All of you that are related to... uh, Crystal, keep standing, keep standing, keep standing. Look at this bunch. Oh, good, good. I had just, I had just stand for just, just, just a couple of reasons. One is, of course, to, to acknowledge uh, the fact that you're related to Steve and Crystal. But also, there was a book written a few years ago that uh, some of us made fun of, uh, but uh, very, very accurate, talking about it takes a village uh, to raise a child. And it really, really does. It's not just uh, mom and dad. And uh, although these are great parents, and uh, if you have any doubt about that, just realize Crystal has two babies, and she memorized that whole thing this morning there. So you evidently need more children. No, that's just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding here. This, uh, <laughs> these guys just celebrated their five-year, uh, five-year anniversary. And Steve did something very unique. He built a house and hoped he would find a wife, and he did. And uh, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. He's got a very, very good one. Um, They have two children, Bryn and Buck. Bryn and Buck, and uh, this morning, they want to dedicate uh, Buck. uh, You decided to go off, instead of just the normal Steve-type names, go with some special ones there. That's a good good thing. Um, You want to dedicate... Uh, Buck, whose birthday is Wednesday. Tell us when his birthday is. <laughs> February 22nd. I hope this mic. February 22nd. Here, mic number two. And uh, February 22nd. And uh, dedicating him this morning. And as, as that with uh, Steve and Crystal, we're, we're dedicating him right between asparagus and cherries. And uh, you'll be able to remember that uh, through the years. Steve, you got any thoughts before uh, I pray here this morning a prayer dedication? Uh, yeah, just a couple thoughts. Uh, we, uh, 
we know we serve a great God. Um, uh, in February of 2008, we had a miscarriage. Um, almost three years later, we uh, had our second child. And uh, we just really, we know that that's a, a gift from the Lord. Um, we know it's a great privilege to have children. Um, and it's also a great responsibility. And we know that <laughs> we're not perfect and uh, there's shortcomings. And we need the Lord's help. I just feel very blessed. Um, we, we, you know, it's um, it's a great leg up to be in a church family such as this. I look out and I see a lot of people that I look up to that are still faithful to the Lord today, and, uh, and that's quite a heritage and, uh, and, and a very great environment to raise a child in. Um, I feel like it's more of a, a charge to us today. Um, Proverbs twenty two six says, "Raise a child in the way he should go, for when he is old, he will not depart from it." That's our, our, our wish for going back today. Here and uh, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you so much for this uh, special day, July third, two thousand eleven, where Steve and Crystal stand here today and dedicate Buck to you. Lord, I thank you for bringing him into uh, their home. I thank you, Lord, for uh, Buck having a, an older sister, Brynn. Uh, we pray that they uh, might become fast friends as they grow older. Lord, we pray for a buck. We pray for uh, Steve and Crystal as they parent him. We pray, Lord, that at an early age that he might come to know you as Lord and Savior. I pray, Lord, for all of these that are in our congregation this morning, family and friends, those that will have uh, responsibilities through the years of uh, taking care of buck in the nursery, twos and threes. Uh, teaching him in children's church and Sunday school and Awana. Lord, we pray for each and every one that's part of this uh, uh, plan uh, to bring him up to know and to love you. Lord, we just uh, pray that you would watch over him. I pray, Lord, that you might keep him close uh, to yourself. I pray, Lord, that you might protect him, uh, keep him safe, uh, not only from uh, physical harm, but we pray for uh, spiritual harm. I pray, Lord, that you might watch over him. Lord, your word tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. And today we uh, pray for Steve and Crystal and us as a congregation that we might have wisdom in knowing how best uh, to bring uh, Buck up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And we pray all these things in Jesus' precious name.